a second. Hey, what are we doing? Turn around. What are we doing? Homework, sir. What kind of homework assignment? Hey, is that a gun? Please. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. Would you rather be dead? <laughs> Would you rather die here? Uh oh. What did you want to be, Raymond K. Hassel? The question, Raymond, was what did you want to be? Answering, Raymond, Jesus. Get up, 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 everybody trail seven reactions uh <clears throat> skipped a couple days there i've been having a lot of a lot of videos a lot of content up i put a lot of stuff up for my trail seven um podcast uh that i did also did a current affairs podcast that's on another page but uh i've been uploading i've been on a steady pretty consistent uh thing i've been doing about two three four to six videos a day <laughs> sometimes i post more sometimes i don't post uh, uh one or two but it's all right um, I had did skip a couple days. I had a good Father's Day weekend. Everything was good. Uh, so I'm back at it. I want to go ahead and uh, react to something that I like, uh, I've listened to before. This album was out a couple years ago, but this song just really moved me. So uh, really hit me, and I like I like the band Amir. If you're an Amir fan, check out the reaction. If you're not, that's cool. I got tons of other kinds of reactions from hip hop to rap to R and B. I probably should do some more like comedy and stuff, which I'll probably end up doing. Uh, I don't like to react to rap music all the time, you know, and I see that trending, but I also see a lot of other stuff going on, so I don't, I don't like following trends, I like to do kind of like what I like to do, whatever. So, this is me doing what I like to do, uh, and Muir, Flag of the Beast, that's the name of the song, and we're gonna and get into it immediately, let's rock out, let's go. face right there you see that face do you make that face when you're just like that's just crazy what this song is me. a lot of music makes me do that you, you know you hear a real good rap verse somebody's going in and going off uh but it, this stuff gets me going too and i love it so I like I like the whole red like look how they got it all in red over here like it like it gives the whole like song a feel and you see how he's in church and he's kind of like throwing the pages in the book and like you can kind of interpret what he might be talking about but then he's been asked about this before and it, it says it's kind of like him being like in the public eye and how people view him like he's this he's that like he's kind of like it's kind of like an Eminem said like I am whatever you say I am but like I'm gonna go ahead and, and be me and embody like whatever it is that I do and you can go ahead and judge me but it's this is a little bit deeper meaning to this song in my opinion I mean he's in a church he's really like it looks like he's a like a preacher like you know trying to speak the word I feel like this is an anti-religion song uh not so much as a anti-Frankie song but at the same time he has this 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 ego that that uh that is pretty pretty hardcore so it, it could possibly be him just embodying that whole anti-religion period just me i am the anti you know and, and that's exactly what he said i am your savior i am the antichrist like it's, it's pretty crazy See that's i don't 
I, I never figured that line out. It's, I think I, it, I probably looked up the lyrics, but Satan is God and God is not real. Like if both of the, I, I'm gonna look up the lyrics. I don't even think I'm, that might not be what she said, but it's pretty wicked. Uh, little, little transition. <laughs> Breakdown, that little breakdown. Here we go. The critics and comments, the press and the nonsense, the fans who feel cheated, and then you cite damage the price. Oh, yeah. So this is a personal thing, like the the critics, the comments, the the hold on. The critics and comments, the press and the nonsense. The press and their nonsense. The fans who feel cheated and venues I damaged. The, the fans who feel cheated and venues I damaged. Meaning like the fans who feel like I didn't give them everything or that I owe them something uh, to the venues that I might have like completely messed up he said damaged who knows he could have been going on a crazy like you know while on stage you know rock stars they get crazy but people who left me and want to my business fuck it i'm done i've got one thing to say but if it makes you feel bad he said that he said all that boom 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 all these people like oh i only got one thing to say and he'd be like hate me if it makes you feel better Like he's got like blood all over him. This whole breakdown is so sick. I'm not even paying attention to the video. I'm like so rocking out right now. So it looked like she was all bloodied up. Whatever that came from. Yeah. You feel bad. And this is the new band. Amir used to have like Amir's going through like tons of members of the of the band. But at one point, uh, like the whole band quit. I think that was the story. Like, and Frankie was like, "All right, whatever." And and he's been on some dark roads, you know what I mean, according to his music and interviews and stuff. And he just kept going, built a new band. And 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 these guys, two of these guys are from uh, Tony Danza Tap Dance Extravaganza, which is a sick band. And um, uh, and the other guy, I forget where he's from, but they're to just heavier than ever in my personal opinion a lot of people like the old gallo stuff or maybe uh the respect issue um and things like that but and, and i like felony and all of them i mean they have like 20 albums out but like they're still the hardest i think hardest <laughs> So hard, bro. 
I don't care what you think. I mean, you might be a religious person, but this is basically like he's feeling like this is where it get, got personal. He was trying to talk about like it was it, this song is about people attacking him, like in the media, the fans and all that. And then he's like, basically like I am whatever you say I am, you know, in the words of Eminem. I am the one and only answer. I am your fucking antichrist. That's that that line, that line right there is like totally dope. Like hate me if it makes you feel better. And and you know like that could be taken if you if if you're an artist or you're any anything like hate me if it makes you feel better like if that's how you feel but like and he's addressed critics he's addressed fans he's addressed uh, a lot of things and that's just it this is this is who he is this is his art and uh if you don't like it like you know whatever <laughs> that's a dope video uh that's a that was dope i love amir um Check out some other music if you want. They're super heavy. Uh, a lot of their old stuff is great. Their new stuff is phenomenal. I love it. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking me out. Um, getting back on another two videos a day, hopefully. We'll keep going. I'm going to do some more comedy whatnot. If you got any others you want me to, uh, I'll put them on my save watch later list. If I get to them, I'm trying. I got some. I got a few on there. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. I said that right there. Hey, what are we doing? Run around. What are we doing? Homework assignment. What kind of homework assignment? Hey, is that a gun? Please. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. Would you rather be dead? No. Would you rather die here? No. What did you want to be, Raymond K. Hassel? The question, Raymond, was what did you want to be? Answering, Raymond. Jesus. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up.